Scorpio. It is all about you, boo. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let all of my beautiful Scorpios know what the energies are surrounding you in love. For the month of September, because you know we're going to make September a month to remember. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. I want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies who's been supporting me. Like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video, okay? Um, like I said, we're going to find out what love energies we got surrounding us for September. Um, before we get into the energy, we, you know we always going to give God his, his praise and glory. Because they don't know our story. They don't know what God pulled us through. So we're going to give him his time and we're going to give him his respect so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of scorpio thank you for waking us up today thank you for giving us fresh air daily bread and free love we thank you for making us who we are can nobody be us can nobody shine like us can nobody move and groove like us and father god we know that we got the best things coming now we haven't even tasted seen or received yet the true glory that it is our story, Father God, because I know that you are cooking that up and you are preparing it and you are making it extra special just for us. So, Father God, please give the sign of Scorpio the guidance that we need to nurture, build, and create more happiness and abundance in the current relationships that we are in. And for my singles, please give us the guidance so we can shine like a star from so far so that the man that you create aided for us father god can find us it don't even matter where he is in the galaxy baby he see he he got a direct line right to us and we pray to god for all our singles that you bring him to us soon amen amen and amen father god thank you for the glory because they don't know our story hello all right scorpio we saved the best for last so let's see what the energies are surrounding the sign of scorpio for september all right let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see what energy you got surrounding you in love for September. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Right. Damn. Y'all got the waiting card. Okay, you got the waiting, anticipating. What is you waiting for? What's at the bottom of the deck? At the bottom of the deck is a callback. <laughs> you waiting for a callback, is that right? All right, let's see what we got going on, Scorpio. Tell me why Scorpio waiting for the call back. Seems like someone that you have a lot of love and an attachment to. Because you see she's holding, she got these little dolls that are a representation of their connection. You see that man, he's on that motorcycle and he's gone, he's leaving. So, uh, I don't know if there's someone that just recently left Scorpio. You trying to see if they're going to call you back or you waiting. I don't know if... You left and someone's waiting to see if you call back or what. That's what's going on. Somebody's waiting for a call back. Someone is waiting for someone to reach out. Give me guidance around love. What's going on in love for Scorpio? What's going on in love for Scorpio? This is a lot. There you go, Scorpio. There you go. There you go. So I want to say like this was a false love situation. This was most definitely a false love situation. So you got the King of Swords in the reverse. And then you got the Death with the Nine of Pentacles. So you felt like this person was dishonest, unloyal, and not trustworthy. You cut them out because you felt like, um, honestly, structure-wise, like it, 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 it lessened your value to be around this person. You're a fucking liar. Like, you, you, you're a cheater. You're a whole bunch of things. You know what I'm saying? And I need an honorable man in my life. And furthermore, with this Nine of Pentacles, you feel like this person will rob you blind. Like, when you wasn't looking, like, this person could have been stealing something from you. Or just stealing, more so stealing unnecessary time that you can't get back. And you ain't about to steal no more of my time. But look at what this motherfucker is doing. It's like this person was around you because of what you can give to him. Or what you can, or what this person can get from you. Like, it wasn't, you see how it started off as love? Like, this could be somebody new that you met. And I want to say, like, it started off very um, deep and passionate emotional-wise. But I want to say quickly, once you've seen the true side of this person, 
This motherfucker just wants something from me. I don't think that this person really loves me. This person is around me for what he can gain from me. Or that was this person's initial attention. And that's why you cut him off. And like I said, this person... And, and then look. Motherfucker's a cheater. Not honorable. And disrespectful. Outright disrespectful. And guess what? If you sit right in front of this bitch face and cheat on her and carry her and manipulate her and use and abuse this bitch like that, what the fuck make you think you won't do it to me? Oh, baby, I know what karma is. You getting the fuck one out of here. Oh, you getting the fuck one out of here. So, I, to me, it's looking like the Scorpio done cut somebody out. two different women for real because you got a woman with you got a woman with dark hair that's sitting back waiting while this man is with some woman whatever blonde or strawberry blonde or like a uh, red hair what is that I like red hair so it's like the woman with the dark hair is being cheated on with some woman with red hair and like she's waiting for this man to call her back or to come home. Someone has like a deep emotional attachment. I don't know. This woman feels like she's a princess. You see how she got that crown on her head? So like if you have dark hair and you wear crowns or, or, or some type of dressing on your head or something like that. That's who this is for. I don't know. This woman kind of give me more of a teacher look. Like a professional teacher look. Somebody been lying about where the hell they been at. And been with somebody else. While somebody has been sitting back waiting for someone to respond. This was false love. It's like initially it was emotionally fulfilling. But quickly you realize like this is not my soulmate. And this is not for me. It's not for me. Mm -mm. I want it's like, like I want a deeper connection. I want somebody that's gonna have me fucking waiting and, and anticipating and and nah, fuck you. <laughs> what? What? Look, the Scorpio death has arisen. Death becomes a uh, get, get her out of here. Off with your head. Scorpio say get your ass the fuck up out of here. Who the fuck you think you playing with? You ain't playing with Scorpio like that. I know what real love feel like. I know what real. You know what I'm saying? I know what it is. I know what it is. And I would devalue myself. That bitch can sit around and wait on you. I ain't waiting on you. I don't give a fuck if you call me back. At all. You know what I'm saying? Like it's somebody that. There's one person that's waiting. And anticipating a call back. But I'm telling you. The way the Scorpio is looking at this male energy. You're a user, abuser. You're a liar. You're a manipulator. You're a cheater. You came to me. With a false love allegation. You don't love nobody but your motherfucker self. You're a narcissist. And I'm getting rid of you. So I don't know if this person is waiting for Scorpio to give them a call back. But uh, Scorpio focus on their family. And like trying to attract a, a, a healthy union. Only thing Scorpio is focused on right now is their family. And trying to attract, you know, a healthy love relationship. You got surrender, and then you got balance under the deck. So, I feel like the Scorpio had to surrender what was clearly in front of their face so that they can get balanced. Because one thing about Scorpios, Scorpios like to be in control. Scorpios like to be in control. And Scorpios, a lot of Scorpios that I know, they are very, very spiritual. So they look for signs. They look for messages. You know what I'm saying? They're not stupid. Like, they're very intuitive. So, once things started going off balance, and I don't know if, like, financially, you started to suffer. Or, again, it's like some shit was coming up missing. It's like some money is coming up missing. Money. It's like, where the fuck is all this money going? Give me two more cards. Somebody is not feeling a, somebody is not feeling at a loss about this. 
And then you got all of these damn cards. I seen Crossroads try to come out a while ago. So, it's Crossroads, Control, and Material World. So, like I said, there was somebody that took a financial hit in regards to the situation. And someone wasn't taking no more laws. I'm not taking no more laws. And I'm not listening to no more of these lies. Like, this shit is fake. Like, you, somebody's fake as fuck. And someone thinks that. Mm -mm. And it's like, um, I feel like more so if it's not like money missing from you, this person can't give you shit. They would, if anything, you would be taking care of them or you would go broke trying to support this man. Because it's something about this man being a liar. It's something about this man being unreliable. It's like this this person's word is not bond. Like you would go to the King of Swords if you really wanted some good solid advice. Like this motherfucker might just tell you anything just to get you up out of his face. Like or could be mean. Like this person could be very mean and manipulative. I'm gonna say angry all the time. Always got something going on that you're fussing about or it's so, you know, it's just low value. It's just like you you can't I can't create nothing with you. I would lose fucking with you. So it's like the Scorpio is not suffering from a loss. Like it's the Scorpio's gain getting this person out of their life. Cause Scorpio was at a crossroad and needed to get back control. I feel like they gave too much to this energy. And they need to focus back on their material world because it's something about the Scorpio's material world. Something about their material world suffered because of their connection with this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, control, crossroads, material world, family, taking back control. No longer at a crossroads because the material world and their family is the most important. You, you, I'm not going to allow you to take from me anymore. I'm not going to allow you to waste my time. I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to waste my energy no more. And I'm not taking care of you. So if, in order for me to be in this relationship with you, I got to financially fit the bill every time you want some cigarettes, every time you want some weed, every time you need an outfit, every time you want to go somewhere, every time you want to do something, I got to give you some money? Hell fucking no. Bitch, wait for that call back. Keep waiting. <laughs> Someone is suffering a union loss. It's done. Confirmation. It was a false love. It was good in the beginning. Might have lasted a year. Damn sure I ain't get the two. It's like, where's though someone gave a cup of love that they didn't receive back wholeheartedly. And, you know, you know, Scorpio, they'll chalk something up as a loss and move the fuck on like it was yesterday's news. They needed balance and they just surrendered to this release. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Fuck it. Let's see what we got going on. Tell me what's going on in love with Scorpio. Tell me about who this person is waiting for this call back. Um, break this down for me. Break it all the way down. Get rickety raw too with it. Because you know how we are. We want the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Side bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm over it already. Listen. Scorpio said listen. I'm hip. I know, I, I know I wasn't the only person that you was fucking with. I don't think it took too long for the Scorpio to realize that they was the side bitch in the situation. And they over it. I want this shit. This, this, not, this is not reciprocated on both ends. This ain't love. This is not love. And you got this bitch sitting at home waiting for you to call back. Waiting for you to respond to her while you fucking with me. Is that or either you the side bitch and he out fucking with the girl with the red head while you sitting back 
waiting for this motherfucker to come back and to call you back. And somebody's over it. I feel like the hair, the hair is significant. Because again, look, they go to red hair again. I really do feel like the Scorpio is the one with the red hair. Ashes and ashes, dust to dust. Scorpio not dealing with that shit. Because again, look, the red hair. There was one that was highly devaluing their self. Well, both of the women were highly devaluing their self. But there was somebody that was willing to surrender to the change. And there's somebody who's not. There's someone that's like not letting this go. They said they want to marry you. You have people jealous. And someone needs to open up more in the bedroom. Hmm. Let's get this money, baby. Like, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I feel like the connection that whoever the man was spending more time with, whoever the side bitch was, had the main bitch jealous, basically. Cause I'm I'm serious. It looks like this one with the with the crown on and the dark hair is the one that's waiting for this person to call or come back or something because this person has an intense passion and desire for somebody else. But like whoever this man is, he's focused. He like. In some way, shape, form, or fashion, I feel like because he's a very low vibrational energy, he may get money unconventionally. Like, he might not work a regular job. Like, this person may be a drug dealer, do some type of illegal shit or something like that. But the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is not someone that gets money the honest way. Like I said, this person is a thief, like a robber, scammer, something, something like that. And I honestly feel like this, like... The Scorpio don't want this person around their family like that. Does not want this person. The Scorpio had to take back control. And they were at a crossroad about the situation. Because even though that person really wanted them. Wanted to marry them and stuff like that. The fact that this man's wrongdoing. Lying, cheating, and manipulating and all this shit like that. It had other bitches jealous of you. And they're like, I'm not, I'm not here for that. You're not going to use me to disrespect another woman. How about I just cut myself out of the whole situation and you can do with that bitch what the fuck you want. Like, cause I'm not, I'm not waiting for you. I'm not doing it. My material world is suffering and I have to focus on my family. So there may be someone that has kids and someone that doesn't. Whoever the one is that has kids. Those are the ones that is at a crossroads because you're not about to use me to make no other uh, bitch jealous. You're not, you're not about to take from me because I got a family. I got shit that I, I, you can't play with me like that. You try to use me as a side bitch and I'm already over it. And at the end of the day, if you thought you was about to come up financial wise off of me, you better think the fuck again. Think again. Think again. And whoever this man is. They could be more attracted to one woman in particular because they are one woman is more open in the bedroom than the other. Okay? Because this card says, suck my toe, sit on my face. Let's make a movie. Gag on my dick, ride the dick, choke me, deep throat, public sex, slurp me up, spank me. So someone is like extremely uh like a professional someone is a sexual professional and the reason why the man i want to say fell in love with the side bitch or whatever the fuck it is it could be the fact because this person gets money or i i don't they could make money together or or, or maybe he was trying to i don't know but someone is extremely 
highly experienced in the art of love making and in the bedroom. One is highly trained and experienced and the other one isn't. Look, and then at the bottom of the deck is do not settle. Mm -mm. Scorpio not settling. And then they say, they said they have someone on the side and something don't feel right. So Scorpio not stupid. Scorpio is not stupid. You is not about to play with me. You better play chess. You better go play chess. You better go find a game. You better you, you better you better go play Madden. Like Scorpio's already over it. Something didn't feel right. Scorpio was feeling like the side bitch. And I feel like you could have opened up a lot sexual, sexually to this people, to this person. You could have opened up more in the bedroom than the other person. And that's why you got people jealous because this person wants to marry you. They want to get money with you. But you don't want to settle because this person got somebody on the side and you know it. Something ain't feel right. Scorpio cut themselves out of it because you're not telling me everything you're not lying. And I love you, but you cannot wholeheartedly give me all of your love. So it's something going on. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can give you, if I can give you my whole cup, but you you not, you don't have, then whoever this is doesn't have anything to, they don't have anything of value of substance to give to you. That's another thing that didn't feel right. The two of pentacles. Definitely filing violence. I, I'm, I'm serious. Like someone is focused on their money. And the princess of wands. Mm, yeah, most definitely moving on. So like the princess of wands is when someone has found like a new passion. <laughs> like it was very temporary. You know what I'm saying? Like um, like I just got, I just got better things to do. Like I'd rather go skating or... <laughs> go to a comedy show or <laughs> do something more active and fun you know what I'm saying like I'm too young to be dealing with this shit someone feel like I'm too young to be dealing with this shit not only that but baby one thing about me you ain't never gonna throw my foot in off balance you would never bitch you would never you will fucking ever so the Scorpio is like I have my own business to attend to I know that I'm beautiful I know I got things going for me and a lot of people are on my line and not only that I got something else that I'm a little bit more interested that that is more appeasing to me so there could be something new that's coming into your life Scorpio that is a more balanced option and I feel like you're going towards that like I told you the side bitch shit this sharing dick shit oh, I'm already over that shit I don't, I don't do that and then you got the nine of wands. You were very guarded. You were not backing down. You're not budging. You're not moving. So whoever the fuck this is that is waiting for a call back from the Scorpio, you might as well just go ahead and forget about it. Scorpio is guarded. They are protecting themselves from you. They don't want nothing to do with you. And I feel like they are going to be very ferocious about it. So unless you want to get a hit in your face, like, I'm serious. Because I almost see, like, a fight. Like, if you... I'm not respecting. Y'all are at a crossroads. Okay? The Scorpio has put a line in the sand. I am over it. I do not want you no more. I don't want to be involved with these type of individuals. I am not waiting for you to call me back. Because I, look, Scorpio showed up in their own reading. Do it look like she fucking playing? Do it look like these motherfuckers is playing. I'm setting a standard. Whoever these other bitches is that put up with this shit to sit back waiting to let them do it. Let them do it. Find somebody else to do it. You thought Scorpio was going? You must don't know a fucking Scorpio. Bitch, I will hurt your feelings. And I will crack you in your motherfucking face. Okay? So that nine of wands, you could be blocked. You, someone is restricted. Someone cannot pass go. They cannot collect two hundred dollars. And if you come around here, you gonna fuck around and find out, bitch. You gonna find out exactly what the fuck a Scorpio is really like, bitch. We the death sign for a reason. Do not play with me. 
I will hurt your motherfucking feelings, bitch. And I will pop you in your motherfucking mouth, bitch, about my respect. Say it with me, Scorpio. I will pop you in your mouth about my respect. So don't even play with me because it's like, I don't even appreciate that you even lied to me and put me in a situation like this. Because you knew you had somebody else. You knew you had somebody else waiting and, and, and doing all of this shit and whatever. Or that you were not emotionally available to fully give because I, I gave you my cup. I allowed you in my bed. I allowed you in my home. I gave to you. But you couldn't give it back in return. So if it's not a mutual two of cups, then what am I going to keep wait? Why? Why? But look, you only got to tell me one motherfucking time. One motherfucking time. And you better watch what the fuck you say. Okay? Because one thing about a Scorpio, and I've had it. Look, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to I'm 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 tell y'all a little story. Well, here you go. So I was dating this guy a, long, a, a while ago. He's a cancer. I don't know what my thing is with cancers, but cancers seem to love me. Whatever. Uh, we started dating and, you know, messing with each other and things like that. I ain't even gonna hold you. I knew that this motherfucker was very much so a nine of uh, pinnacles in the reverse. This nigga couldn't give me shit, but the dick was good. All right? Dick, 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 uh, Lodian. Oh, honey, I had free passes on all the rides and everything. Girl, I was enjoying my motherfucking self. Cut. I reload it. I'm gonna keep one. Uh, but then it came a point in the scenario where I think that that person, um, he thought that the, uh, I don't know what the fuck he thought. I know he's supposed to be going somewhere for a week and doing something or whatever. And he decided to tell me, I think you deserve better. I think you should date other people because whatever he had going on, on the other side of the road, on that weekend, I guess he decided he was going to let me free. And I said, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, young grasshopper. Thank you. Because you couldn't give me shit any motherfucking way. And once you go and set that dick out and you giving that dick to somebody else like that, oh, because I'm not about to share for nothing to nobody. I don't want you any motherfucking way. Go on. So he went and I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't my business about whatever happened with him or with anybody else. But I know whatever the fuck he thought it was, it wasn't what the fuck he thought it was. And he tried to double back to me. Trying to see what was going on with this union and everything like that. And he ended up at a loss. Because I was balanced as fuck. Because I was surrendered to what the fuck he requested. You, you told me to go to the street. You sent me to the streets, right? Right? Okay. So I'm reloaded. Okay? So I took back control. I seen where we was at at this crossroad, and I see you could not give me anything of value, and I damn sure don't want you around my family. So thank you. Thank you. You know, it's like once I figured out what was going on, I figured out, like, I was devaluing myself even, I mean, the dick was cool, but outside of the dick, you really can't do shit for me. Because I'm not about to take care of you. I'm not about to do what these dumb bitches are doing. You better find somebody else to do it. Find somebody else to do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like once I realized the type of individual that I was involved with, I didn't, it, it's, it's like I was upset at myself that I opened up so much sexually with that person because he couldn't let, he like, still to this day, to this motherfucking day, the only reason why I don't deal and I haven't had like, a story because normally I got a story about this motherfucker is because I've had I had I had to block I had to block him. It didn't matter what bitches he was talking to, where they were at in a situation, who they were around, he was always gonna be on my line because once this nigga sent me out to the streets to tell me, oh go date other people, you only wanna tell me that I don't chase niggas. I replace niggas. And you better watch your motherfucking mouth because whatever you say, you gonna get. And that's exactly what he got. And he, at, as soon as the words left his mouth, he, he regretted it for the rest of his motherfucking life. Still to this day. And 
I don't let that motherfucker play with me, he better go play fucking chess or checkers or Madden because I'm not the one, the two, or the three, bitch. I'm the V, bitch. Okay? I'm Scorpio V, the original, bitch. Don't play with me. And I had to get that motherfucker out of here. You know what I'm saying? And I had to reassess what I was doing and what type of value I was allowing in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, in this situation, with, with and, and mind you, this was something that happened years ago. And what I just seen on the table was... I don't know if the Scorpio wasn't necessarily looking for a relationship in that situation. I don't know. You did have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups there. So there was a deep connection there. There was most definitely a deep connection. But once that Scorpio seen that person for who they was, you got another bitch waiting. I'm the side bitch. Or... You got a side bitch. Whatever. Because both y'all bitches in the same scenario. Somebody waiting and someone getting played with. And he can't get shit to neither one of y'all. At least the Scorpio had sense in their head. And they cut themselves out of the scenario. I didn't see in the cards where the man. You know told the Scorpio like. Go date other people. But once the Scorpio found out the truth of. The atmosphere. I made the decision for you. Is that what you did, Scorpio? Scorpio said, I made the decision for you. I cleaned the whole table. Clean slate. I'm about to start all over again. Reassess my finances or my time. Because it's, it's something about either a waste of time, a waste of resources, or a waste of finances, or something. It's like you, you, you're, you're assessing what you have left after that mundane bullshit. You flatten the surface and you start to rebuild from the ground up. One thing about Scorpio, Scorpio ain't got no problem with saying fuck it and starting all over. They are not scared to walk away from you. They will clear shop. So listen, whoever the fuck this was, shout out to all my Scorpios. And one thing, I know a lot of people talk a lot of shit about Scorpios. Uh, them motherfuckers wish they could be Scorpios because one thing about a Scorpio, we would get rid of your motherfucker ass swiftly and professionally. Shout out Justin J and a lot of people don't have enough heart to do that. So whoever the hell this was, I don't know if you, which end of the table you were on in this scenario. Hopefully you were the one that was separated and walking away and surrendered to, you know what I'm saying? The same thing like I said in my story where I had to deal with the cancer. You only got to tell me one motherfucker time. Or you only got to show me one motherfucker time that you a low-hanging fruit, bitch. Okay? You won't have to climb the tree to get to me, bitch. You won't have to work for this. Okay? Low-hanging fruit is, is soggy and, and... Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you guys for loving me. I'm going to come back with some pick of cards so I'll be back later on this weekend with some more stuff. Because guess what? I'm back, bitch. And you got to deal with me. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Y'all hit the like button.